This is such garbage. You remember those so, 51 former intelligence operatives that I do. signed a document claiming that the laptop is Russian disinformation, despite all the evidence otherwise? Well, House Judiciary uh, Republic. No, for the record, there is no evidence otherwise. You know what evidence otherwise would be, fucko? The laptop. Say those ex spies. Spies who lie, GOP to issue subpoenas to 51 intel ops. That's that's what this. Oh, sorry, that's what that says right there. Spies who lie. If if only Vladimir Putin could stage an attack on our intel community, the way these guys can. I mean, it's almost as if he doesn't even have to bother. Spies need to hand over their proof that it was Russian disinformation. No, they they said it has all the markings of it. And there still is no laptop. And the hard drive itself is such bullshit. Ask Eric, fucko. They're going to be waiting a long time, I have a feeling. Or what will happen? They can expect... Well, they can't prove a negative. They're calling out the lack of evidence. That's what this is. Subpoenas next year when Republicans take over. Yeah, it still won't happen. Republican congressman from Florida is with us. Matt Gates is a member. Oh, okay. So, uh, is he going to show his uh, Venmo account on the air today? We're of the House Judiciary Committee. And he oh, all right. He's he's already in some sort of prison cell. Is it, are you just in a drunk tank in Miami? He joins me now, Congressman. Great to see you. I, I was just peeing in an alley uh, behind a elementary school, and uh, I, you called me, and I didn't know what to do. Oh, thanks for having me, Grant. And in addition to that demand for oversight and transparency regarding those 51 officials. They wrote a letter of opinion. You can't just fucking call them up. They're former members. Of... Again, this is weird. You, know, you talk about like witch hunting and shit. If this is a minor point, I recognize. But the idea that you're going to subpoena people who went, this looks like bullshit to us. We all agree this looks like bullshit. <laughs> Which, by the way, it does. And that you're going to like, we're going to call these guys, we're going to subpoena them. Show us your evidence that it's Russian disinformation. Like, fuck, oh, this is spy work. We don't have evidence. You have a responsibility to prove it's not in this case. If you're challenging our assertion. Or just fuck off. I've also filed legislation to strip all of them of their security clearances and bar them from future security clearances. Yeah, that'll pass. Given the fact that they you Given the fact... That some of them return my phone calls, which is incredibly suspect. The imprimatur of our government and those clearances that they hold for credibility. And then they violated that credibility by telling lies about this laptop. It's very, what laptop? very clear that if you did not have a conspiracy. Um, by the way, uh, this asshole had to walk back his statement in, the, in, in you know, where he's like, I'd like to enter the you know, Hunter Biden's laptop. And then he holds up this fucking hard drive and everybody's like yeah that's a very small laptop see between well it's the one i masturbate with so it's not it doesn't have to be big government officials big tech and big media to suppress this information joe biden would yeah that's it they suppress this by sending two russian ops dressed as fbi agents to bullshit mcisaac into giving them their own piece of evidence they dropped off to him. Not have been sworn in to the White House. And th that is the depth and breadth of this scandal. And I think we've got to get to the bottom of how that happened because you want to talk about threats to democracy. You yeah. want to talk about disinformation. Sure. It's the power that some of these folks have to work together to yeah. keep information away from the voters. From the Yeah. Yeah. How, you know, most people don't know that McIsaac was threatened by the two FBI agents who came to get it and they promised they would bring it back if Hunter came to pick it up. Because if people knew that, I think a lot of them would go, wait, what? He, he, they what now? And it, so two FBI agents show up while Trump is president, pick up this laptop and then give him a receipt for it, which doesn't match any receipts that the FBI has. And then they... Tell them, you know, people who don't talk usually don't end up dead. And then they call back later and go, by the way, if you want this, we'll call you. Don't call us. If you call the FBI field office, nobody will show up. But uh, if you need it back, we'll give it to you. American people. Fuck? Congressman, I I'll tell you, I I've spent 30 years in media, much of it. as Much of it at the 
ass or elbow of uh, the Craigslist wing of the internet. An investigative reporter. And I an investigative report. Where did Stankfield, where was he an investigative reporter? What, local? Was he, are we going to find out he did like uh, local stings? Um, you know, beekeepers in the neighborhood operating uh, beehives without the permission of city zoning officials. And neighbors are fed up. I'm Grant Stankfield. <laughs> I could tell you from the moment I saw the evidence coming out of that laptop. What? What laptop? That it was real and all... Again, what the fuck are you talking about? The evidence was that it was real. Now that's been confirmed. No, it has not. I know for a fact those spies knew it was real. At least... No, you don't. What the fuck does that mean? Hold on. At least... what? I know for a fact those guys knew it was real. It's not real. You don't know it's real. That's my assessment. Of At least that's my, I know for a fact, and that's my assessment that I know for a fact. Get the fuck out of things. here. Which then means if that's true, they would have. But then means if that's true, then this is also true. Because two of my assertions, uh, like I take my assertions and they, I, I fit them together like this. And uh, ma'am, where are you going? Wide, Congressman. Uh, undeniably. Undeniably. Uh, speaking of lying, uh, look, I had no idea those girls were underage. Their IDs that my buddy made for them said that they were in their mid-60s. And if that's the case, they shouldn't be able to parade around like they're holding some intense credibility. Yeah, by the way, I, I had no idea that crack was how you beat insomnia. <laughs> Until this, this doesn't look at all like somebody broke into his room while he was drunk, put that in his mouth, and took a picture. Also, uh, we're sure that's crack? Right. From the United States government. The other thing that you- Oh my god, look at this guy. By a pool. Look, that's a woman's leg. Pointed to is that the hunter by- He's smoking a cigarette. And he's- Unsha are, are we sure this isn't Anthony Bourdain? Laptop very well may have been a point of vulnerability for the White House. Why? Again, if, if the idea is that there's a vulnerability with Russia and China, then why is Biden laying it to China and Russia like no president in modern history? It doesn't make any fucking sense. This is the exact defense they use of Trump all the time. I, no one was harder on Russia than me because I delayed sanctions to the very last fucking second. For the Biden administration, it could have been the subject of blackmail efforts or compromise. Yeah, you can't blackmail somebody if the shit's out there, dummy. The minute this arrived, the blackmail dies. After the, the okay, this bullshit was created for election leverage. They, they, they fucked around and came too quick. And that's where they're stuck because they dumped this shit out in an attempt to stop Biden from getting elected. That's not blackmail. Blackmail is we got this stuff. We're going to help you get elected and we're going to use it against you. This shit getting out. I, I mean, the agent is dead. There's an old like a uh, phrase, uh, I, I don't know where I first, I think it was in an old, I want to say one of the Destroyer novels that Remo Williams was based on. But there was this um, concept called the dead, uh, dead agent, which is, if you get caught, we will not send someone to save you. We will send someone to kill you. That this is how the Russians did it. That if you capture an American agent, we might try to trade for you. We might try to get you back. What the Russians did was if you, if they caught you, they'd try to get somebody else. If they knew you knew shit, they would try to get somebody in there to murder you. So you couldn't say anything. Right. Like all these are just deep fake bullshit. And, it, and there are no new ones. They've got fucking gigabytes of shit. And we keep seeing the same dumb pictures over and over again. I don't give a fuck. This dude smokes in the bathtub while covering his nipples. Are you a moron? Who cares? endeavors which regularly occur in washington dc also i think he's wearing shorts in that picture why are you covering his junk like he's naked maybe there is a naked one but and again i i 
I'm going to guess that if, the, if it was a naked one, the, the bubble would have to be large. Deeply troubled when I asked the FBI cyber chief where the laptop was. What, he's got, uh, has he got a tattoo on his back? He took a picture? Or he dyed his hair and he had streaks down his back? What's happening? He couldn't seem to tell us. And Again, what is this? Why, why is this scandalous? Seriously, if they snatched... This New York Post is getting credit for these. If they snatched this shit off it, so he's naked and he took a picture of his back and when he got out of the shower... Who cares? I don't know why this is supposed to be shame. Like, I get, like, the crack picture, fine. That's the one, right? Maybe him where he's having sex with uh, prostitutes. That was one of the other ones. And again, you'd have to prove to me that those are real anyways. Um, Hunter's kind of filthy hot. <laughs> that may be indicative of a cover-up that is improper. Look at this guy pulling hair and smiling. And he's got his glasses on his head, and he's not wearing a shirt, and he's kind of dad botting it. Right now, it's this is filth. Like, look at that genuine smile on his face. Not as if the cover up is over. They're continuing it, and an apple bomb signaled the change of the narrative. You see, now it's also again that looks like a dude who, and we're back to this. We're just on a loop. Is this, are we just being, are we seeing Matt Gates' screensaver on his computer? Not that this is disinformation or uh, a, a false representation of the evidence. It's that we all shouldn't really care that the son of the then vice president, now president. Note that the, the stuff that's being alleged was during a time when he was no longer vice president even. Even the meetings he was talking about getting were during a time when he wasn't running for office and he was done. Was actually selling influence for personal gain for millions of dollars to some of America's greatest adversaries. I think that matters. I mean, yeah, but there's no proof of that even on the alleged laptop shit. Because you can't fabricate it in one spot and have it not show up everywhere else. They've got his taxes. They've got Hunter's taxes. They've got all the property and information that you would need about Joe Biden. None of it's, there is no fucking Cyprus account. The, it, like, it was, was Joe Biden in the fucking Pandora Papers? If that was a member of the Trump family doing international business deals, they would have lost money. <laughs> if, if Don Jr. had been involved in this, Everyone would be broke. <laughs> the Chinese Communist Party, that would have been grounds for yet another impeachment. Um, Eric met with members of the Chinese Communist Party. He bragged about deals they had going on in China. Why is this? Effort, but here with the Bidens, it's uh, the grounds for yet another cover-up. Of what? I'm dead serious. Like, I, where is... At some point, you got to shit or get off the pot. You have to tell me. What a, what did these guys get out of it from the Bidens? Because none of it is showing up in policy while Biden is president. All of it was spent trying to stop him from getting in office. And, and, and I suppose to try and stop him from getting reelected. So they're just spilling it. At a certain point, blackmail only works if you keep it. The more shit that shows up or comes out, the more it looks like Biden's like, I can't do anything about that. I don't give a shit. Release everything you got. Because isn't that kind of what's happening? Like, stuff keeps coming out, and the Bidens just don't give a rat's ass. Thanks, Don. Yeah, they wanted Ivana locked up for uh, copyright issues in China. And so uh, imagine if... Ivanka. Uh, Ivana is her mother. <sighs> I, 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 do, are we yelling locker up at Ivanka now? Is that what the, is that what he thinks? It was Don Jr. for something like Hunter is accused of. Um, let me play a clip from you. This is Jack Maxey. It's unfortunate that we have to have civilians doing the work that the Justice Department should do. Uh, yeah, the, no, for the record, Stank, um, the Justice Department should not be in the business of fabricating evidence or modifying it after the fact. 
the I would argue that one of the first rules of the Department of Justice is that they don't fuck up the chain of evidence. This is the guy that handed over uh, the laptop to the FBI. No, it isn't. Maxi didn't hand it over. Get your lie straight. Uh, he's downloaded and given it to congressmen and women. He's given. He didn't download shit. Mac Isaac copied the copy that eventually got to Rudy's lawyer that got to Maxi. Why do I have to know this shit? It to media outlets. Um, he's also doing a forensic deep dive. He says he's got 450 gigabytes. Bullshit. We've already seen this. We covered this. On, on Newsmax, Eric Bowling interviewed McIsaac. McIsaac was like, no, I took the hard drive from the laptop that I had in my possession. I copied its contents file by file, not a flat copy, but, a, but I literally had to drag shit over to a solid state drive, which means it's not copying files that don't exist on there anymore. That's not how computers work at all. Of erased material on that. You don't, you can't see erased material on a copied file on a solid state drive from another drive. It's fucking impossible. It just doesn't happen. It's like, it, all right. Uh, this is why clones don't have belly buttons, fucko. This clone doesn't have a belly button. You can't add a belly button afterwards. Laptop, he fled to Sweden. Cause he's, no he didn't, he's in Switzerland. Fuck man. Get your country straight. <laughs> you guys watched this with me. You guys watched. He didn't go to Sweden. He's in Switzerland. Fearing for his safety and retire. No, he didn't. He wasn't fearing for his fucking safety because he saw because he saw black SUVs in New York City. The place. It's like, but. Basically, the vehicles in New York City are half taxis, half black SUVs. Aliation for the Biden administration. He appeared on Newsmax today. Watch this. I feared that my efforts. Ah, oh, fuck you. We already covered. Be interfered with in the United States. Why? What effort? What effort? I also had uh, experts here that I could rely on. Yes, reliable experts in a. Uh, in a country known for money laundering. That I have worked with in the past. Yeah, these are guys who, uh, they, they're, they're really good. They've been uh, moving uh, gold taken from Jews by the Germans for decades. If you don't release enough of this to make them know that you could release the whole thing. Release the whole thing. Fuck you. Which I have at my ability to the present day and I've not done it. Why not? Again, why not? I, I don't understand that part. Release it. Release all of it. Post it all. Everything. <laughs> you can't, though. Because everybody will look at the metadata just like I will. And you'll be like, God, go fuck yourself. He said, they're going to get you. They're going to kill you. No, they're not. Just, I, again, why, why is this a thing? This is Alex Jones bullshit. Alex Jones has been saying that the fucking lizard people or Hillary Clinton have been, are going to kill him for two fucking decades. And the only danger that Alex Jones is in is his own jonesing for chocolate cake that's eventually going to give him a fucking cardiac arrest. It's a crying shame that I have to leave my own soil to save it. You don't. You're a fucking coward and a liar. That's why you had to leave. But, uh... The American people have been betrayed and without uh, pointing any fingers, the fourth estate dropped their ball on this one. Uh, With, uh, without pointing any fingers. Congressman Gates, he's in Switzerland. He's, he's Yeah, not Sweden. Thanks for that correction. He's very close to getting all this data back. He's going to release it on an online database. Um, I'll give you the last word on this and him. And yeah, anytime now. Tell you what. Here you go, Stank. The day he posts it, you and I'll talk because I will go over all that shit claims that he's in in danger well I think about Project Veritas and the FBI raid of James O'Keefe's home oh oh you mean uh the legal raid that they had a subpoena for is J I'm sorry is James O'Keefe fucking in Guantanamo is he dead 
Is he, uh, uh, honestly, is he in anything other than mild legal trouble for shit he was pulling, impersonating, uh, you know, and committing fraud? What, uh, where's the danger in that? If you're, and again, this is like, this is like Snowden versus Chelsea Manning and reality winner. They did something they thought was right that was technically illegal. So they faced the music, they went to jail. And in, and in many cases, the, you know, their, their charges were commuted um, or their sentence was commuted rather. And, and over time, it very well may be that most of their charges get expunged. But Snowden fucks off to Hong Kong and then to Russia with the help of Glenn Greenwald. And now he's fucking gone. God, I hope he's alive. And they believe that he might have had Ashley Bob. Oh my god, it might have had Ashley Babbitt. What? Biden's diary. And in that case, oh, Ashley Biden's diary. James O'Keefe wasn't even publishing. Oh, wait. So that's the thing. They stole it. <laughs> they stole the Ashley Biden's diary. And, th and then they were shopping it around. The Ashley Biden diary stories, which would have been very damning to Joe Biden. Apparently not. Because they had it the whole time and they haven't used it. Why would that, what, what's in her diary? Dear diary, today I helped Pop's uh, influence pedal, then had ice cream. Shut the and, fuck and up. Sort of his bizarre relationship. She has, she has drawings of herself smoking crack in a bathtub that she did by sketches. Relationship there. He could not verify it, so he did not publish it. And even in that case, we still have an FBI version, I think, a real troubling violation of the First Amendment. So in Jack Maxey's case, this is no, it isn't. They came for stolen property. Entirely reasonable to believe if he has the intent of publishing this additional information. Again, is this supposed to be related to something? Is there, is it just, are these guys just jealous that apparently he was getting laid all the that time? That he, in fact, could be in some day. This is the headache picture we Danger. see all the time. Uh, I hope that we yeah. get full transparency on this, that we get the full scope of the Biden crime family's activities. And that may explain why the Biden administration takes certain positions that seem to be for the benefit of China, not the United States. Like what? Like what? What position? What position has Joe Biden taken that benefits China over the United States? I I'm cool. Name one. And you better not bring up something that is like a bill that's in the house or something that is a part of U.S. policy that's happened before or a continuation of a fucking Trump policy that they just haven't shut down. What is it? Uh, let me tell you, I can almost guarantee that it's going to explain just that. No, you can't. You can't fuck, you can't even guarantee you know what fucking country the dude in the other clip is in, stank. Uh, Congressman Matt Gates. I... Oh, God, this is so tiring. Appreciate you, you trying to get to the bottom of it, Chuck Grassley, Senator. Yes, if you want somebody to get to the bottom of something, Matt Gates is your guy because he's already there. <laughs> he's a guy who hangs out at the bottom, so if you need to. Johnson, all of you, I appreciate it. Have yourself a great weekend, sir. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, thanks for coming by and helping me bullshit my way through this. You too, Grant. Take care, man. Yeah, man. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Uh, you got like this girls lacrosse team is getting out right now, so uh, I gotta go check uh, on a couple of them or whatever. I got you know, gotta play travel agent. See you later, Stank. God damn, this is so stupid. Every time I I have to say, <clears throat> every time a new story comes out about the the laptop i well it has to uh, if it's a big story if it's on multiple platforms i honestly have a moment where i go all right i've been out on a limb about this calling this thing out as utter bullshit and because i'm so direct in my criticism of it it would be easy to undermine my position because the simple existence of somebody just goes, here it is. Suddenly I got to go, all right, well, let's take a look at it. I'll have my own issues with it, but I got to admit there it is, right? That That's always a possibility when these stories pop up. And when the Washington Post story came out, I was like, oh shit, well, here it is. They found it. I guess they've got it. They, got, they must have the laptop. 
And then we read it together on the on the show. And I was like, this is just fucking garbage. And every time and, and, and this, you know, same thing now. Like these clips come up in my in my feed thanks to CSL, and I try to avoid looking at any of this stuff so that I can react to it naturally. Um, and occasionally I'll see the title of one of these and I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe they say something like, like, like the Maxi interview and the John Paul McIsaac, uh, dude. I was like, all right, well, that's the guy who supposedly found it initially. If there's anybody that's going to give us information that's legit about the laptop, it's going to be that guy, the guy, fr- the, the blind dude from the repair shop. He's an innocent civilian in this idea. He's not a government operative in theory. And so he, if, if he says something, it, it may be wrong, but it's not false, if that makes sense. Like he's not, in theory, fucking with anybody. He just thinks he saw what he thinks he saw, which is like the, the um, affidavits that Rudy Giuliani peddles around with a bunch of these Q assholes who are like, I think I saw ballots being brought in in a taco truck. I mean, it smelled like tacos and they were eating them. I think they were eating them and shitting out ballots. I really believe that. And they write it down on paper and then they bring it into the judge. And everybody's like, they wouldn't sign an affidavit. That's legally binding. They're in trouble. You know, if they lie in an affidavit, they can go to jail. They can get, you know, put in jail for contempt. And you're like, yeah, but that the, the affidavit doesn't say they saw or they photographed or they have evidence of or they can prove. It just says, I believe I saw. So what's the worst that can happen? Do you really believe you saw that? Yes, your honor. Here's what happened. Do you now believe that? No, your honor. Okay, you can go. Like, it's uh, like, ugh, gross.